Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I take care of my handbags. Plus, I will also introduce the newest addition to my growing collection. So stay tuned for that. Now, if this is the kind of contents that you would like to watch, please do consider subscribing to my channel, especially to those who aren't subscribed yet. By the way, I'm Elon, and I'm a self-confessed bag addict. Let's not keep you guys waiting and let's get started. Okay, so this video was again suggested by you guys. And I'd like to give a shout out to Mildred Plotka for requesting this video. Now, the main question is, how do I take care of my handbags? To answer you guys honestly, I don't think I'm the type of handbag collector who is constantly watching over my handbags to the point where I have to baby them. Also, in some unfortunate situations, we also cannot avoid some circumstances that would hurt our beloved collection whenever we use them. But I believe these hard-to-remove bottle scars add story to our bags. Yet, I do try my best to still keep them in their best shape for them to last for a lifetime. Anyway, the tips and tricks that I will share with you are also the tips I gain from my fellow bag enthusiasts as well as from my bag's respective care booklets. Okay, so here are some of my tips and tricks that I use to take care of my handbags. For my first tip is by avoiding direct sunlight because when your bags are exposed to direct sunlight, then unfortunate things that will happen, such as the material of your handbags will start with its discoloration. Now, a useful tip for that, because for me, my bags are stored in my wardrobe. So I always store them with their respective dust bags. Now, most of my handbags already came with their own dust bags, just like my Moschino and some of my coach bags. But to some of my handbags, they unfortunately don't have their dust bags. So... What I have you here is a dust bag that I got from an online shop. I believe I got this one from Shane. Now, this dust bag comes with different shapes, colors, and sizes depending on your handbags. Now, you can also basically get this one from any online stores or even some physical stores. Now, this is a very helpful tip or trick to keeping your handbags uh, free from dusts and also from the discoloration from direct sunlight if your handbags are on a display shelves. The next tip that I can give you guys is by using silica gels. Now this goes inside of my handbags or inside of their dust bags because silica gels are known for absorbing any moisture, especially with your leather goods. Because moisture is what we want to avoid, especially when we just use our bags from the outside and then somehow we use a dry cloth to clean them. So I always use silica gels. Now, I have handbags that Surprisingly, it comes with its own silica gel, just like my Jimmy Choo card holder. It has its own uh, silica gel. So that's great news for most or for some of my handbags. Now, we also have to watch out whenever we use hand creams or when we just, when basically when our hands are wet because mostly we touch our handbags. So as much as possible, we have to keep our handbags dry to avoid discolorations and other sort of unfortunate events that our handbags may experience. Okay, so the next tip that I can give you that I've already mentioned a while ago, to clean my bags, I use a dry cloth. So I use this one to just simply wipe off my bags after I use them. And if there are some really hard to remove stains, I only just put a bit of water and gently wipe my handbags. 
Now, if there are some cases that uh, the stains are that much hard to remove, then I try some wet wipes, but I am mostly be uh, very careful with those because I don't want the quality of my handbags, especially their color, to also be wiped out. And I am also well aware that most of my bags are made out of leather. Now, some are made out of smooth leather, pebbled ones, and patent leathers. Now, for example, I have my Coach Mini Studio bag here that is made from patent leather. Now, good thing with this bag is it already came with its special uh, cleaning material. But I've never used this one because uh, this bag is easily already cleaned using my dry cloth. So I simply wipe it like this one. And most of the shown, for instance, like fingerprints are removed. So just like that. Now, when it comes to some of your handbags that their straps aren't detachable or you want to keep their straps from creasing, I have you here, my bag hangers. Now, I got this one from Shane or you can also get this one from any other websites or online shops. Now, I use this one for my bags that the straps are not detachable. So, for example, my APC Mini Grace bag. So what I do is I store it using this bag hanger, this bag hook, like this one, and I hang it uh, in my wardrobe. Now it, now the straps are increasing that much and I don't have to fold it like the way it is, like this one when I first got it to avoid the strap from creasing. Okay, now this is also crucial when you store your handbags uh, straps. So for me, I think I am mostly just like uh, any other owners of handbags or collectors, which I coil the strap of my handbags uh, and then store them with them or inside of my handbags. For example, again, my Moschino tote bag. So I coil it like this one and just put them back inside of their bags. Now, it now depends on the kind of uh, handbags that you have. For example, I have here my mini coach studio bag. Now this one, this body strap of this bag is not uh, detachable, but the strap is adjustable. So what I do is I properly also coil it and store it inside, just like this one. And then I store it this way. So another tip to give you guys, especially for those handbags that have a top handle ones, just like my Jacquemus, Moschino, Bali, my Coach, or basically any handbags that have got top handles. So I use this purse hook. So I got this one from Shane, but basically you can already get this one from any online stores or even some physical stores. So this is uh, the way you use it. So easy peasy. So basically, I use this one whenever, for instance, uh, I go out like in a, on a restaurant and I don't want to put my handbags on the floor or if the table is not yet clean. And for me, uh, I want my bag to be as close as within me and I, I want it to be within my reach. So I basically just hook it like this and hang this one, the purse hook, on the table. So to me, it's now safe. The handbag is safe and I know it's safe because it's also within my reach. 
sew it there. This handy purse hoop. Now, it is also that small, so you can basically just bring it with you whenever you go out and just put it in your catch-all or just in a pocket of your handbag. So the next tip that I can give you in taking care of your handbags is when you store them, especially uh, those uh, handbags that are not well structured. So we should all remember that we should not overstuff our handbags when we use them and also when we store them. So for instance, I have here my Bali bag. Now my Bali bag, I store it by using its uh, paper fillers. So when I bought this handbag, it already came with its paper filler. Now I have kept this one to retain my uh, bag's shape. Now if you don't have paper fillers, you can also maybe use some of your uh, clothing items that you don't anymore use or you can also buy online this um, kind of like airbag as they say but the thing is you should not overstuff your bags with paper fillings or other uh, things that you would like to retain your handbags shape because if you overstuff then you might also damage or reshape the handbag also we have to keep in mind the limitations that our bags can uh, deliver especially to our mini bags as we tend to overstuff them because obviously of their size as much as we want to be as functional as they could but it's already their size so we should always remember to not overstuff them Okay, so for my last tip in taking care of your handbags is that I've already tackled on mostly how to protect our bags from the outside, but we also have to protect the insides of our bags, especially their interior linings. So how do we do that? Well, by simply using handbag organizers, especially if we carry out things that may damage the interior of our bags such as when we bring our keys. So I have this small squishy catch-all to put inside the keys. Now, my bag is organized because I have this and my bag is well protected because the keys or the, some of the sharp objects that may affect the inside of our bags is inside of this catch-all. Okay, so you've already come to this part of my video. So this one is the newest addition to my collection. Now I will quickly show you guys uh, what is inside of this package. And if you want to know my first impression of this bag, please do let me know in the comment section below. So here it is. Quickly unwrap this package. So are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Okay, this was anticlimactic. So let me just, guys, unwrap this one and I will show you in a bit. Now we're back. So here it is. So yes, it is a bag from Ferla. So this brand is new to my collection. Now, this one. Any guesses, guys? What do you guys think this bag is? Or what kind of bag is this that I got from Ferla? Now, I cannot wait to use this one, especially this coming spring and summer. So here it is. Okay. So it's this vanity bag from Ferla. Now again, guys, if you would like me to share a first impressions about this bag, so please do write down. Uh, in the comment section below. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two and feel free to share more tips and tricks that you know on how to store your handbags in the comment section below. Also, keep on suggesting guys what would you like to see next here on my channel. I really do love and appreciate them. 
And as always, please do keep on sharing and liking my videos such as this one. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as this is how YouTube algorithm works. And with that, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.